This is the Pete and Sebastian Show with Pete Corielli and Sebastian Maniscalco. All right, everybody, welcome to the Pete and Sebastian Show. We are live in studio here in Los Angeles. Pete Corielli was kind enough to make the trek all the way from Fedona, New York. I'm out of breath because uh, you require... An, uh, an amazing amount of <laughs> trinkets and toys to get you through the day. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, you you're so accommodating, and I really you know it's my first day out here, and you've been like unbelievable, like running around. Even now, you know, on the fly, getting us glasses for the water to make it classier. And uh, after today, bro, once we're in a groove, I will be like invisible as far as the ease and stuff. No, I feel I feel like you're an iPhone, like a new iPhone. Right. Yeah. You got to kind of learn. The new features and right. whatnot, and once you install them, right, you'll be self sufficient the rest right. of the week. Well, we were also, t- it's very intense here that we're talking about how <laughs> you don't even feel comfortable eating on the lawn. <laughs> if you, I'm saying if you want to bite into a sandwich, you got to go out to the road, bite into a sandwich, then come back. It's, everything is, uh, no, it's, right. it's, it's not that's that's not Lana, though. That's all you, though. Lana's rock and roll, she's fine. It's not a it's not a museum type feel here, in my personal opinion. Well, However, it's like you, you did it again when we were, we were in uh, on the break. Oh, you you no. kicked over your bag, and I don't know what the hell was in the bag, but I thought it was going to break. <laughs> There's just a lot of kicking shit over where I got to constantly monitor what's going on with you because it's just I feel like you're all over the map. Well, you know what it is, though? It, and again, uh, the, how, the house is so nice that like I put the bag up. And I'm like, it's it just like it's ruining the look of the stone and the, and the umbrella. You put up this beautiful umbrella. I'm like, the bag is tacky. Let me get it off the table. And then I forget it's down there. And then I kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, your house isn't conducive to just, you don't leave a mug like on a table over there and get to it later. It's It, it stands out. It, so Yeah, but I, I'm wondering why you're walking around my house with a paper bag. <laughs> I mean, because they, so, I, listen, I got. I know some, why there's, there's, the, there's. I got some there's, gifts from the Pineapple Express, right? <laughs> Which I want to thank those people profusely. And I know you got kids. I don't want the kids to come home and they uh, got my bag. My kid asked me, "Hey, um, why is he walking around with a paper, uh, a paper <laughs> bag? Is that lunch? At like thirty in the, in the morning?" Uh, speaking, uh, of, speaking of lunch, uh, Lindsay, I think um, after after this we got to get some lunch. Uh, I don't know if we plan that, but uh, we'll um, get you fed as well. <laughs> <laughs> comes out I'm, comes I'm, out of our big budget. Um, so I want to get into, uh, and this is airing two weeks after my party. I just turned fifty Saturday night. Had a party. Happy birthday, by the way. Thanks. Congrats. Thank awesome. Great party. About 52, 53 people there. Um, we had uh, Mario Carbone come in and cook for it. All right. For those of you who don't know Mario Carbone. He's uh, a chef, owner, operator of Carbone Restaurants, which there's like, I don't know, maybe five or six in the world. Plus, he's got 40 restaurants altogether. Anyway, big hospitality group. He was kind enough to come in. And we we've became friendly over Instagram. Um, I think I tagged his restaurant in one of my posts, and then he had reached out and started talking. I noticed that he he caters. He catered something. I said, oh, you, you didn't know you did catering. He goes, eh, no, here and there. And uh, I said, well, I don't know. I'm having a 50th birthday. I would love to have you if you do that type of stuff. He's like, oh, I'm there. I'm there. I didn't I didn't realize that he comes with, like, right. a full-blown army of people to, to cook, right? For the catering. From the cave, yeah. I mean, you expect people to come, yeah, but yeah. like the, he turned my he turned my garage into a full blown operating kitchen. Now, is he in L.A.? No, no, he he's uh, he's like New York from Florida, whatever. So, where's all this these people coming from? New York. <laughs> <laughs> so they all flew out. So they flew out for the for the thing, right? So they came on a Thursday. My party's on Saturday, and I'm like, Jesus right. Christ, Thursday is it's right. like a forty eight hour. Prior to the party, they're, they're coming right. up prepping in my kitchen, my kitchen, my garage. They right. brought in extra refrigeration. So it was right. a whole whole to do. Right. But you, and you're putting them up? I'm and, putting them up. And their meals? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like you're making a, a low-budget movie for a week. <laughs> it's, you were making an independent movie. Bro, bro. for the amount of money I spent, I could <laughs> open a carbone here in L.A. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> 
Did you did you go, hey, guy? Is there a version where you just come with a pot? <laughs> uh, the, the the you know the strip down like you know how they do MTV Unplugged where they leave the band behind. <laughs> you do an unplugged, is it- uh, uh, you know catering sir <laughs> i just want to pick you up at the airport with a sign that says carboni right <laughs> so all right you're housing a staff so you got staff he's cooking for 50 people and i thought I, I, right. at first i thought like you said he was gonna come out and cook i don't know right. my grandmother cooked for 53 cousins and, and it was just her <laughs> right. <laughs> right man so I, yeah. so anyway I, i'm joking he, he was he was the food was amazing party was great um What's up, everybody? For the smoothest cannabis smoking experience, you got to try a freeze pipe. Freeze pipe makes a unique line of freezable pipes, bubblers, and bongs that cool smoke by hundreds of degrees for icy smooth tokes without the throat burn, chest pain, or coughing attacks. Now, the secret is a detachable glycerin chamber that comes on every piece pop one of these chambers in the freezer for an hour and as smoke passes through it instantly is chilled by over 300 degrees proven to outperform traditional pipes and bonks simply inhale relax as freeze pipes icy glycerin chambers do all the heavy lifting now pete yeah you got one of these things right i have and you called me and I'm, I'm kind of upset that you didn't bring it just to just to show me. But please, yeah. can you tell the listeners your experience with this freeze pipe? I want you to get it delivered like I did, and how the listener will get it delivered when they order it in a beautiful black box that you open up. I'm telling you, it's like a piece of artwork. And I can, I have three of them. The smallest one is the pipe, where the whole pipe goes in the freezer. Now I got two freezers in my basement to we keep extra meat and ice cream and stuff keep the pipe in my basement when i'm mowing the lawn i go down get the pipe out of the basement freezer bring it into the garage and just do a couple of nice icy hits before i start <laughs> up the mower if you ever come to fredonia and you see a guy smiling while he's mowing his lawn <laughs> it's this guy and it's because i had the freeze pipe in my garage you're gonna love it bro well listen shop the smoothest pipes bubblers bongs and dab rigs at everyday great prices by visiting thefreezepipe.com and use the code the cast for 10 percent off your entire order that's thefreezepipe.com the code the cast for 10 percent off now shop today and say goodbye to that harsh smoke yeah. forever you're gonna love it you really are <laughs> I think I fucked up on the speech. I did a speech, and it was like kind of impromptu. I didn't really prepare. Right. You ever think you're going to wing it and go, ah, you know, I'm a comedian, I'll wing this. Why? Well, you're whispering, though. Uh, Do you know that? Yeah, I'm whispering. Yeah, it is low, isn't it? Quite low. It's, heard, Lindsay, yeah. It's, yeah. Been, it's on the low side. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. We, there's, been a, there's been an issue yeah. with the way I speak on the podcast right. that I do it in a hush. Yeah. Right. Well, low is one thing, but yeah, at certain times well, it's like we're, like we're hiding. I, well, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hide and go seek. Uh, no, I feel like sometimes I'm telling you a secret. Yeah. I, but everybody's yeah. listening. Right. 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 So you right. lower it a little. So, all right. Do the speech. Right? I think, you know, Lana for putting, but by the way, Lana, Lana does an amazing job. And, 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 and I kind of like just threw a th- blind eye to what was going on. She's like, right. I'll handle this. Don't worry. I didn't really want to be intimately involved in the uh, day-to-day setup of of the party. I just said, you know, just whatever, whatever you want to do. It's, I respect that. It seems a little be a little weird. I feel for you to like be preparing your own birthday party. You know what I mean? It's like. Well, I just wanted to make sure, like you know, because Lana could run wild with this thing, right? And I didn't want to go and walk in right. to my party and have a you know a ten thousand uh, gallon right. aquarium in, in yeah, the yard yeah. with a shark. You know, so like your she- only little touch was flying in a restaurant <laughs> staff. Uh, other than that, that was the only dip in a toe you did, that's, right? That's all. I'm gonna fly in half of the Italian staff at, uh, <laughs> in Florida. Other than that, you roll with it. So. so Party was good, and I did something. Did I you never- know before the party started that you were going to be giving a speech? I said a little toast, whatever. Oh, so so I, I, you know, I got I got up there. I felt like I kind of half-assed it, but I tell you what, I didn't, which I never do, is I shut it down 
on the food and alcohol early because I knew where it was going. And I found out where it was going when I started getting handed shots. Right yeah, now, yeah. listen. I don't know how you feel about shots at fifty, right. but I feel like shots at fifty is a death sentence. Oh yeah, right? I mean, come on, that's like that's <laughs> like heavy lately. You know, like the same way I wouldn't like you know bench press anything other than twenty pound dumbbells. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I it's don't like, do shots. Anymore. Shots is like trying to do two twenty five for three on the bench <laughs> at oh, fifty. Man. Right. I think the next shot I'll do is with my daughter when she graduates college. I'll do one. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I, but but that's it. That's yeah. the only alcohol you have that day is yeah. one shot, and that's it. I'm, but I'm exaggerating. I, I don't mind once in a blue moon hitting the night off with a tequila, like boom. But it would be one. It would be one. You would do it to start the night, or you would do it mid midstream. It would have to be within my first two beers. I do a pop of tequila just to get the party started quicker. But once I'm drunk. You know, you don't want to start doing that. You yeah. don't want to start playing that game. That's going to be a crazy morning. That's where I was. Yeah. I shut it down, and I shut it down with the food. And uh, I did something that I haven't done in a while. You ever do a fake shot? Like, everybody's doing the shot. Right. And then you pull in, and you just kind of, like, let it rest on your lips. And, go, oh, and then you just, like, you know, nah, off to I, the I, side. I, you know? And then there's the other version where you do water instead of vodka or something like that. I've I've never... I've never done the fake shot. I, I just oh, I listen. I'm I'm either out or I'm in. Well, you know I was not in, right. but I was given the shot. So what are you gonna do? And somebody gives you a shot. Here, do a shot. I'm good, guys. I want to keep having a good time. I'm good. It's my birthday. Everybody's around. Right. They're all you know. Like I don't yeah. want to be you know fart and not do the shot, but I also want to participate. So anyway. what's it take on your and other? You're doing the shot, and you catch the guy. Uh, it's not your birthday. It's someone else close to you, and you do the shot, and you catch him doing the fake thing, and you see it's fake. You offended by that? If you caught, if someone saw you doing that, you think they'd be offended? Yeah, I think they they saw me. I I wasn't I wasn't that discreet about about it. the fake shot. Yeah. Okay. Um. But it's after everybody did their shot, so it's like, well, you know, it was done already. What are they gonna do? Be uh -huh. mad at me? They didn't do a shot. Yeah. But there's always that guy, you know, at a party who's like facilitating this type of behavior. Yeah. You know, like, hey, you fucked up, Tony, uh, uh, whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're all having a good time. Why do we? We don't need to. Yeah, I take it to another level. We're at a great level right now. We're maintaining a nice level. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think shots for me died out at, I don't know, I'd say 30, 31. Right. That's when I started going, what are we doing here? Yeah. Because there was always be a round of shots. They get the tequila and everybody's in pain after. Do you make the shot face after you do a shot? Do you do that? God. Or do you just take it down? It was just water. What's your take on the shot? I definitely do like you would think I just drank gasoline. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I mean? Like you ever see, I've never siphoned gas, but you ever see when they go, you know what I mean? That's got to be an equatable Did you just spit on the rug, bro? No, bro. Oh, God. I got to ask the rumor question. Um, have we stopped using Google? What the hell is Duck Duck Go? Uh, what is it? Is that a new search engine? Yes. <laughs> duck Duck I'm Go. Familiar with duck, oh, duck, you duck. you know Duck Duck Go? Yes. Wow, that's a, yes. Yes. Is, do you use this? Uh, I try to when I remember to, you know. But like, I forget to when I go. Like, you're gonna be taken to Google. You got to go out of your way to get Duck Duck Go. You yeah. Know what so, what is Duck Duck Go? I is think it? it's like they don't follow you as much. You know what I'm saying? Like China don't know what's going on with you. Oh, okay. So you do Google, you're basically telling China where you live. Yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, maybe I'll start using that. I, I I heard, and I don't know. My wife has a suspicion about like if you typed in a business idea uh -huh. into Google. Yeah. Right. She thinks that Google takes that business idea and could start up their own business based on how good your idea is any truth to that do you think uh do you think there's a filtration system over at google where they're going look at what they're doing on, oh out God. of the maniscalco house they're, they they want to they want to merge coffee and energy drinks or whatever the hell the right. idea is from the legality standpoint <laughs> you're asking me you're asking a guy that dj lou called me the other day and said your special ad again on peacock uh it still holds up and it was like the last one i did for pete's sake I don't know it was airing. I don't know who's getting the money. <laughs> I don't. I, 
I, I just talked to my new manager. He goes, do you have the contract with the guy? I go, I got, I got to try and find that. I go, I know shit's airing. I ain't getting nothing, you know? So you're asking me if Google steal your knife idea or whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> I want I watch Shark Tank on Sundays when we have pizza with the family. I want someone to come. You ever watch that? Because I don't like Mark Cuban. All he does is say your shit sucks and I ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you come out and you pitch your stuff. Yeah, yeah. I want one guy to come out and go, start to do his presentation and go, you know, oh, God, I got halfway here and I decided I, I don't even want you guys in this. I'm, I'm going solo, but thank you. I was already coming, but thank you. Any, what you I don't even have a proposal. I don't need any of you slugs. I got it, you know? Like just the, you think they would want him more if he said, you know what, I was going to do this presentation? Right. But I think I'm good. Yeah, I, I do. Because, you know, you sit down. Because it's like, you know, you're begging. I need, some of them know. You watch and they go, so I got this, that, and uh, I'm asking you for a 3% stake at $5 million. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? One guy had like... Uh, a uh, stair master that goes on the back of a stroller. Oh. So you're doing stair. Oh, and he was Italian with beautiful <laughs> hair. He's like, women love it. Everybody I say, they love it when they see me in the park. I go, they want to fuck you, gang. That's why the women say it. It's a joke. You know? And, I, and he's like, you give me a million dollars. And, uh, it's like, yeah. <laughs> and he's all pissed, running his fingers through his hair. Like, oh, God. I would go with the chick who looks like Mariah Carey. She looks like she gets things done if you can... Uh, point up with her. I don't know. Mariah Carey. Oh, on, 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 Shark, on Shark Tank. But no, it's the honest thing. I didn't know that they can steal. I don't know. No, I don't. She's suspecting she's that. Right. All right. Did you know that your temperature at night could have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? I'm going through this right right now by myself yeah. in regards to uh, hot and cold sweats. I don't know if I'm going through menopause <laughs> or what the hell it is. But if you wake up too hot. You wake up too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you could sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Right, Pete? Using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA. I mean, anytime you hear NASA, you're using what NASA uses. It can't get any better, right? Than, right. So it's like I feel like scientists are making these sheets, and they do because they're designed to keep you cool all night long, so you get a better sleep every night. The sheets are infused with a silver that prevents up to ninety nine point seven percent of bacterial growth. Can we get the other three percent? What are we doing over there, Miracle Brand <laughs> sheets? But anyway, 99.7% of bacteria is killed on these sheets. I mean, you can't beat that. It leaves them staying fresher and cleaner. Three times longer. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without that high price tag of the other luxury brands. And they feel as good as sleeping on sheets in a five-star hotel. I'm surprised five-star hotels aren't even using these miracle sheets. So stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to TryMiracle.com slash the cast to try the Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or a gift for a loved one, if you order today, people, you you save 40%. And if you use the promo the code the cast at checkout, bro, you get out of the sheets. You go into the shower. Yeah. You get to use one of the three free dolls oh and God. save an extra twenty percent. Miracle made it so confident in their product, it's back with a thirty day money back guarantee. So if you aren't one hundred percent satisfied, you get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to try Miracle dot com slash the cast and use the code the cast to claim your free three piece towel set and save over 40 percent off again that's try miracle.com slash the cast treat yourself thank you thank you so much miracle made for sponsoring this episode <laughs> by the way Lindsay will have who sold your special to Peacock within an hour. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. And then can you help me type up a, a, a letter of termination with my manager after that? <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to get upset that I said that. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Matt. Is it Matt? Matt, your manager? Matt, yeah, yes. Sorry, Matt. No, you're, you're great. What's your you're great. on this, by the way? The other day when we had that whole meeting on Friday. Yeah. I had to tell my, my manager, you know, and he knows this. I'm like, you know, this has been an ongoing thing. And he goes, I get it, bro. I'm just here to help. I'm not going to step on any toes. Like, and he's really cool about all that. Yeah. After the, the meeting, I get a text from him going, I was on. I was just on mute. I thought it went really well. 
Whoa, I mean, that's a little, I, I said to be low key. I didn't even know you were on the call. You know what I mean? <laughs> did you Did you know he was on the call? You know what? I, what? I got two things on this call. All right, all right. Number one, I think he had some, like a kid in the background, right? Uh, was, does, does he have a kid? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, here. Because I, I was getting annoyed because somebody was talking and I kept hearing, that daddy, that daddy, that daddy. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm oh, like, I heard right? you say that. Yeah. That was him. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> Help me with the termination. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, shut oh, that down, my. right? That's, that's like the one thing, the most important thing on the Zoom calls. I don't want to hear your, 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 cr your breed, you know, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know that you got a family <laughs> right. on, on a Zoom call. Uh, yes, okay? exactly. And number two, Sorry, we're just in Maine. Just unpacking. <laughs> on the, exactly. And number two, Patrick gets oh, on the call, bro. You. Do you want to take was, this? I was focused on that Oh, one. bro, he did his bro, video. Listen, I... <laughs> I'm on the show with Sebastian, and mostly because of Sebastian, but I also know Lindsay runs a tight ship. I'm like, I'm not going to do the Zoom walking my dog or anything. I'm going to be in my home, right? <laughs> it cuts to Patrick. Oh, he's doing the drive, <laughs> or he's looking over the canyon as he's answers. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. Oh, we're all stationary, guy. What? I, that was. I, I don't want to. Gotta get to Whitney. <laughs> gotta get to Whitney on a tight sketch. <laughs> That's what that was. I was taking my kids oh, to I'm get an illusion in the no. valley. <laughs> I, I can actually explain, and why, and why you heard the and why you heard the kids. Uh, I had to take my kids to oh, get your their kids. booster shots, the and I was driving my Matt, car, uh, and the van with my nanny and the kids was close by, and my phone likes my van, oh, and it oh, jumped into the van. It jumped in. It wasn't your manager. You could have let that it's, sit with my manager. It cost him his career. <laughs> So they were tailing me, oh, and every time they'd shit. pull up close to me, my oh, phone was connecting to the van. Yeah. Maddie, take your coat off. You're back in. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How much money are you making? This guy's got a nanny. No. <laughs> that slipped my mind. Holy shit. Is your wife an heiress? <laughs> No, what? <laughs> Seriously? Holy oh shit, my god. god! No, so he's That's doing. Not even funny. Dude. He's he's doing the zoom through a steering wheel, god. and 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 uh, Matt's not oh. saying nothing. I went and this Fourth of July, I went around the lake. We we're by a lake, Finley Lake, New York, right? I knew I wanted to get my lake house. It was my dream. And well, me and Jackie are riding the bikes with Sadie, and and there was one for sale, and it was abandoned. And we went up, and we were sneaking around the back, looking at it, trying to see if we can make the money work. Can't make it work yet. And then we're back on the bikes. We're seeing these beautiful homes, and we're always we're joking. We're going. We're always the ones on the bike, looking at everybody else's stuff. We're always on the bike, <laughs> wishing it was ours, right? Nanny, <laughs> nanny. I can't even, and this was a, a steal, this place, you know, so anyway, you got to teach me how to do that stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Bro, all right, calm so, down. No, I can't no. tell if you're joking or really getting mad. Sometimes you- No, no, right. man, I'm a little hot. Right, is, is, is it hot in here? Yeah. But it's like that. Right. You know what? And that, you know, we're going to, we're going to, what? That leads to, I don't want to- Go ahead, no, no, I'm going to, I'm just turning it up. We're talking about you know, a nice gesture you were doing because we're going to start having some guests this week, which yes. is very exciting. Yeah. Taking this cast to another level. I don't even know what you're watching on TV, but with the strike, there is nothing better than what's going down right here. It's unbelievable. Self-promo. But anyway, we're going to start having guests taking it to another level. And I heard about the cheese plates. Yeah. That you, you know, you're going to put together like somehow. What, what, okay. You, as a gift. What, the, 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 so um, for those of you that are not familiar with podcasting or these shows, and I was talking to Patrick the other day saying these aren't even podcasts anymore. This is basically we're, we're producing a TV show, right? So when you do a TV show, right. you go on a Jay Leno, you go on a Jimmy Kimmel or name your host, you get like a little swag on the way out. They give you a T-shirt, a coffee mug. Yeah, mugs is popular. Yeah. yeah. A couple of Letterman mugs back from the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Since, you know, we don't have any, like, swag or merch that we are uh, giving out yet, I thought it'd be a nice little touch to leave with a little meat and cheese from the Pete and Sebastian show. Yeah, these people are taking time out of their day, right? right? Yeah. 
and you know, and, and this brings up another point. Yeah, you know, there's no pay involved here. You know, normally when you go on Jay Leno or I don't know, it's like Jay Leno, Kimmel or Fallon or whatever. Yeah. It's like a favored nation's $500 fee you get. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, here on podcasting, which I've never really understood, it's like you go on somebody's podcast and your quote unquote pay is the exposure that the podcasts give you. Right. right. That's 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 what you do. Yeah. Yes. I figured wouldn't it be nice, you know. These guests are taking out, you know, two hours of their day to drive in traffic to come here that you leave with a little cheese and meat. And then when you go home, you go, honey, look at this. Look at what I got at the Pete and Sebastian show. And it kind of wipes out maybe any aggravation of coming to do the podcast. Right. Now, yeah, yeah. you right. got a problem. With it. <laughs> I, I, the gesture is awesome. And you're a classy guy. But the. There's a couple of angles. First of all, if you put yourself in your shoes, right, you're assuming that the wife and even the guest is going to see you the way you see you, you know, like you wouldn't take cheese from another cast if you were doing a cast and they gave you cheese. Do we have the cheese plates? All right. If, if you wouldn't mind. All right. So going, they're high end. Going to get a cheese plate because your idea of what your head in your head Right. Might be a lot. And if you don't want to walk past camera lens, you could. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you the cheese plate. Okay. okay. And you tell me if you got this cheese plate at some other podcast, and you could right. be honest. Uh huh. Yeah, I would never take that. Or right. I would take it and throw it out as I, as I left. Okay. I probably wouldn't. And I look forward to seeing it. But then it will lead me to my second thing is the logistic aspect of I have to be going home because it's hot, especially now it's hot. So if I'm making any other stop, and I get this cheese plate. Either I got to leave the car running or it's like the cheese plate is like having a dog in the car. You leave debris in there and it gets up to 100 degrees. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, so, so it gets a little tricky in that aspect. Maybe. Yeah, you throw in a little like sort of cooler aspect to it. Like uh, that's even a better touch. That that's that classy. But like, listen, you don't have to be going right home. It'll, it'll stay in the, in the car. The cheese plates, I believe, were delivered in a insulated bag where you could put a little we have ice blocks put a little ice block in there right. and it saves it for the ride home now right, right, right are you upset that you're putting people out if you give them a cheese plate and they have to go straight home with it or are you upset with you don't think the cheese plate they're gonna eat it like no, I, I wasn't upset. I had hesitations and they've all been dissolved because I'm sure now I'm going to see this. I didn't realize it was getting delivered. You know, I think of like my mother's she's Irish, the cheese plates, a paper plate, a couple of slices of Swiss. Oh, wow. That's that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Come here, look, look. Oh, my. Are Bro. you kidding me? Bro. Lindsay, you didn't tell me that. Bro. Va <laughs> Hold on. Vacuum When seal. I was making fun of the cheese plate, you didn't go. You got to see the cheese plate. <laughs> Vacuum sealed. Right. right. Look at this. Uh, uh, I think that's salami. I think we got a, th uh, uh, a three crema cheese here. Apricot. That, the fuck did you get apricot oh on a God. cheese plate? Green oh. olives. So, I mean, come on, bro. No, you get no. this. You go home with this from our show. That's you talk about this on other podcasts. You do. This is marketing, yeah, man. Bro, I apologize. That's unbelievable. I mean, not only that, the wife would probably save the wicker tray and you use it. The gift keeps. The only thing I can make that better is when you're done with everything, the cast logo is on the bottom that, of the tray. That's what she, uh, Lindsay already thought oh of. Oh, God. Bro, she be going to, like, Pawson School Design. <laughs> Holy shit. Me and you're on the same page. I mean, come on. Wow. Bro, I mean. This, I can't believe you thought of that, Lindsay. Unbelievable. We yeah. should do an IQ test. There, give, it, give it back to Lindsay. <laughs> this is. Lindsay, did that come in a, uh, uh, look at a that, cooler? Folks, like a cooler bag? Absolutely. Like a green cooler look bag? Look at the back. Look at it. You could. Uh, this is okay. a hot plate. It's so many. This is. Bro, I love it, dude. Bro, if you take you know, a quick. I don't even think. No, like he he was. Yeah, because if they didn't go home, I think we might have some. Uh, and I'll check with Lana. We got some cooler bags that they could they could take. Now, bro, you could take a quick turn on the road with that. That thing could fly off the the front seat of the car and st no damage. Yeah, right. That's how tightly wrapped that fucking thing is. Yeah, and that's that's wrapped so well. By the way. You could just grab that, throw it in a cooler, and take it on a picket, take it on a, a tailgating party. 
Do you think it's possible that if the guest took that home mm -hmm. and then within a week or something was having it with friends or family, do you think it's possible for them to start to eat it and not even mention the cast? No. Right, like, like they literally they're... bite into it and someone goes, mm, and they go, yeah, it's good, isn't it? And and no mention of... <laughs> This is this is my hope. Yeah, is let's say they do put it out, right. and some people takes the 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 apricot and go, eh, apricot. I never seen that. Right. Where'd you get this? And they go, eh, Pete and Sebastian show. Right. Uh, and then I should plug the 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 guy whose business we got it from. His name is Dominic Di Bartolomeo. He he just opened. Oh, this is the, Dom's uh, cheese, Beverly Hills Dom yeah, cheese. Yeah. Oh my God. This just is, bro, you would get this on Oprah. Yeah, this is the yeah. top ten things to get. Whatever. Oh, this, Oprah gives this shit out to her studio audience, oh my God. along with a Hyundai. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> listen, people. There's no quick fix for anxiety and depression. It's not finding a new therapist or starting an exercise routine. Not more or regular meditation or a better diet. Sometimes you just need to unlock your brain, a new way of thinking about seeing the world. Maybe. Maybe this is a, a guided ketamine therapy from Mindbloom. But there's a new tool to improve your mental health at home ketamine therapy. Now, Mindblown is the leader in at home ketamine therapy, having safely helped thousands of people overcome their anxiety and depression. Because they do it unlike traditional talk therapy, ketamine works quickly and doesn't have that unpleasant side effects of traditional antidepressants. You know, in a study of over 1,200 Mind Bloom clients, 89% reported improvements, 89% in their anxiety and their and their depression after only two sessions. So right now, Mind Bloom is offering all listeners $100 off your first six session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com slash the cast and use the promo code the cast. Take the first step and break free from your anxiety and your depression with Mind Bloom. Mindbloom.com slash the cast and use the promo code the cast. There's only four. We only got four guests. Right. So right. four guests are gonna get four separate cheese plates. That those cheese plates are gonna go four different destinations. Mm -hmm. And I feel it's almost like putting like tentacles out there and then and then and then they'll talk about the cheese plate and go, right. Bro, I, here's my prediction. Right. They go talk to another possible guest, and, and they go, man, no, I just did Pete and Sebastian. Oh, I had a great time. And they're giving out cheese plates. Right, so, yeah, I mean, no. We might get incoming calls from the cheese plate. From the cheese plate, the cheese plate, plate. right? I put a, you're right. You're right. I mean, I wouldn't put it past that. Then later on, Dom is fine, and he's getting business because people coming in going, I was a guest on the cast. I had the cheese plate, and I yeah. have to come back for more now. Boom. That's why I got to find out if Dom is charging us for this shit. Because if he is, we're stopping the cheese plates today. Yeah, that's done. That's done. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you a business card with fifty percent discount if you go to Dom's on your own. <laughs> right? It's like it's crazy. By the way, are we allowed to tease a guest or, or not at all yet? Like as far as because I, I I just want to say I don't know if it's too much, but if you could play along with this, see if you could piece this together. This cheese plate could lead to Lake of Courtside tickets. <laughs> you're right. From you, one guest. You're, like, yeah, you're right. Brings it home to but, the significant other. She bites into it. This is good. Wait, will you watch that? <laughs> then she watches. These guys are so funny. Invite them down to the, <laughs> to the Mavericks game. <laughs> Luke is hurt. There's going to be no one there anyway. Ch tickets are going cheap. Right? So that's, I mean, next thing you know, because of the cheese. You're right. I, I, it's, it's I, I think move, this bro. is going to open up doors for us. Moving forward, I right? agree. There's no, I, I guarantee you. The, here, well, uh, Patrick, what's Whitney give away? Uh, she gives away uh, some merch items, and then if she knows the person really well, she gets them something that they. Like, she knows that they love to buy. She did. She got me a beautiful. She got me a beautiful uh, piece of jewelry. Wow. Like, she was see, even. She even told me how much. She was stunned at how much it cost. That, that she, she was stunned at I, how much the piece of jewelry she got you cost. Yeah, Bro, and you're gonna give her a cheese plate when she comes here. I, I'd give I'd give it a jewelry back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told her I said take it back. I don't know. Well, she's I, a guest on here with the cheese plate. Yeah, yeah. Get the jewelry back. Yeah. Too. Oh, listen, I apologize. <laughs> I you you literally 
<laughs> go to him. What did she give out? And you go, oh, yeah, I forgot. One of my no, nicest be- jewels. <laughs> well, yeah, it was, it was a beautiful piece of jewelry. So she personally shops for each guest. Well, I think she had somebody go get it, and right. I think she was stunned when right. she got it back. Going, Jesus, I, I didn't want to spend this much on this guy. Right, right. And I said, no, no, take it back. She's like, no, 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 no. But, uh, yeah, she's, she's handing out jewelry, and I'm handing out prosciutto. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, oh so gosh. so let's get into. You said you had a story. Oh yeah, yeah. That you wanted to get into today. Um, right, right. What, yeah. what, what, okay. what happened? So last, this is last Friday. I'm home, right? Jackie and I are gonna chill out for the weekend night. It's uh, it's about eleven thirty at night, and we're watching TV. Uh, first, we're out on the porch. I'm gonna make this too long. We're out on the porch. A couple of deer go running by. Yeah, fire high, fire men go by and Jackie makes a joke about what the hell are we doing? There's so much crap going on out here. So we're going we're inside now watching TV. And now it's eleven forty five at night. We're watching a good movie. We're gonna pause it, go to the kitchen, get a little late night snack. I gotta let the dog out, and then we're gonna watch the rest of the flick. Summertime, so it's warm. Bro, I open up the sliding room door out back of my backyard like I always do. My little you know, cavapoo door, about twenty pounds, Duke flies out like beelines it to the corner of my yard and i'm going duke duke next thing you know i hear him scrapping with something and he's going you know and i can see them twisting in the air and then i hear and i hear duke go he comes running back to me fucking got skunked right in his face right that was the the skunk was shooting its gland Right. Oh, wow. As the dogs run into oh. me, I can start to smell it. I'm like, oh my God. I run inside the mud room and close the door on the dog. So the dog's outside the door, eyes are red, going Aah! to me. And I'm inside going, I can't come out. I can't open the door. And then I'm going, Jack, Jack, Jack. <laughs> so she comes running out. I'm like, the fucking dog I hit with a skunk. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know what to do. And it's like, and it's like, it's rubbing on its paws and it's rolling around on the wall. Ah, 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 you know, but and the fucking whole backyard stinks. The mudroom stinks. I smell a little already just from being near it, you know? And uh, and I'd seen the skunk a couple days in a row too. God damn it. So then we got a friend who's a, uh, works for a vet, but we're going to call her. And then I'm like, it's 12 o'clock. You can't call her. She has kids. So Jackie's Googling. And she goes, I got to make a mixture of hydrochloric. <laughs> What do you call it? Uh, hydrochloric, not acid. Um, hydro, Hy- hydro, hydro peroxide and baking soda and water. But uh, when I mix it, we got to rub it on the dog right away. That gets the smell. But first, we got to get the eyes. Uh, so it was like getting cold out at night. And I had to hold the dog and we ran a garden hose over its eyes. And you know how dogs usually like shake or it didn't move for like five <laughs> minutes. It was like when someone gets maced. Yeah, yeah. You know? And... We forgot to wear gloves, so I'm holding its face like this, and she's pouring it, and and like my hands smell like skunk. Everything smells like skunk. So then we got to wash it in this hydrogen peroxide, and it still stinks so bad that we got to leave it in the in the in the mud room, and uh, it hasn't been in the house since. We have to wash it with this shit three days in a row. Then I had to bring it yesterday to get uh, groomed, but. When we're laying in bed at night, uh, uh, I was telling Jackie, I go, it's like having smelling salts on our hand. It's like I'm going to bed at night and I'm falling asleep. And then at one point, my hand goes like that. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking skunk smell. <laughs> so I finally got it off yesterday, but dude, what a run in, man. Now, do you think that's one of the best defense mechanisms that an animal has? And right, if humans had that ability, don't you think everyone would behave a little bit nicer to one another? Like, let's say if you had the ability to spray someone with skunk, right? Right, right, right. right? Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. you think you wouldn't get cut off? Or if you're at the grocery store right. and you're in line and the guy goes, hey, you want to hurry it up? And you go, Sss. Right. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> right, the, the, right. Because that shit lasts. I mean, the, right? Sad. Your yard probably still That's, smells of it, right? Yeah, and it's like if and if you got skunked, 
that means you were doing something bad. So now when you go shopping for the next three weeks, people smell you and go, what'd you do? What'd you do? Right? Right? But you only get you only get one usage a year. Like you, you're not you're not not spraying this shit weekly. Well, it's interesting you say it because a couple of things. First of all, I said to Jackie, "What if when you had sex, that's the smell when you had an orgasm, you stumped?" <laughs> and she goes, "No one would have sex." And I go, "Oh, you it would be a big thing when you did it. Like we're gonna go to the to the hotel where you skunk, like and that's where you go to do it, and you." And it's a big deal when you do it with someone. Cause, and you come home to your parents and, oh. And so, but but to your point about the skunk, I looked up the, online. Mm -hmm. The skunk, it's a gland, and you have six of them, like bullets. Right? And we may have discussed this once before in the cast. So when you go, like mine, I think mine probably let out two based on length, like, you know. So me and Jackie were talking about it, and she's like, God, this is like something you and Sebastian were talking about. I was saying to her, she brought up first, she goes, do you think the skunk goes back to other skunks? And it's like, dude, I shot two glands, some shit went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm like, that's a great question. Does it go to the other skunks and say, uh, because it takes 14 days to rebuild your glands. So okay. Now he's walking around with four bullets and that's a six I'm, gun. Well, you, you're estimating it was two. I but, am. But, but you don't know. He, no. he could have let them all out, right? My question is, right. as the skunk is fighting your dog, right, right and he squirts once, right, right. and the dog's like, who? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the dog turns into Rodney Dangerfield. Who? <laughs> 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 oh, hey. Tough, tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> oh, by the way, right. side, side note. Yeah. I, I was in a conversation. This is totally off topic, but I just did it, and I wanted to get your take on it, and then we'll hop back in on the skunk. I was talking to a group of people, and I was, I had an itch on my elbow, yeah. right? Yeah. And as I was talking, I was just I was kind of like just itching my elbow like that. And my right. mom that slaps me, and she goes, what are we doing? I go, hey, it's sick. Itch your elbow in front of people. <laughs> I love it. My question. That's like you. Yeah. My question is, is it inappropriate or unpolite to scratch out an itch while talking to a group of people? Like, right, right. if I'm talking to you and I'm like, yeah, you know, if he, right. uh, I really <laughs> think, you know, Biden's doing a really <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you do that? Right. Or is that impolite? What, what's your take? I, I I don't like it depends how you do it. I mean, right there you went hee, hee, like that. <laughs> but if you went, no, nah, I know what you're saying. Like that, like if you do it quick and the elbow thing. Yeah, it was an, it was it was one of these. You know, I, I, it was I, my I, elbow. I don't, and I was just like was it like we continually no, doing? I wasn't like it wasn't like a you know, a rapid it was just like, Yeah, no, I I, I you know, we're gonna go to, you know, Mexico in August. Yeah, was, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough call. Like I got in the car rental yesterday and I, I sometimes I have it and I don't have it today, but I had it yesterday after a while. I get a heat rash right where my tailbone reached my ass crack and it feels phenomenal to itch it. <laughs> and I got on the shuttle and I had to give it an itch before I sat and you, you ever make the decision that I don't care what these people think of me. I just kept going for it. I'm like, I don't know anybody here. <laughs> and, I, and I know they were judging me, but I didn't care. I felt so good. You know what I mean? Uh, but, um, you know, and then it feels better. I don't, I, you know, it's not one of those things where it itches all day, but I got to say, I, I, I respect that is a woman on it right there and you married the right woman because the only other person i feel who would have a problem with someone itching during a convo is you yeah yeah no i i, I it was a mental lapse for me and I, I was like yeah what am i doing i'm itching my elbow what do you think about the rub belly rub I, <laughs> men do that a lot when they lift their hand over there especially if they're in shape i've seen it where they, they lift up <laughs> over and they just because their hand is under their shirt rubbing their belly it's like somehow okay because i don't see it because it's all going on underneath the shirt if you're in shape and you're rubbing your belly, I feel like you're you're like uh you're sore from doing abs. If you're yeah. fat and doing that, you're like, man, I'm hungry. You know, yeah, like it's, yeah, it's a different, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, different it definitely vibe. Has a <laughs> so getting back to the skunk thing, yeah, yeah. If you got six glands, right, right, and you're fighting your dog and he lets out one, right. do you think one could put down your dog? Or do you think he's like, oh yeah, that didn't work. Here's another one, right? Or did he empty the the, the full sleeve on him, 
and now he's gonna go back to the, the to the nest and go. Jesus Christ! I got into it with right. this dog at the uh, at the Corielli residence. I fucking unloaded everything. Right. So I, I need I need you guys to come <laughs> got, back out with me he's for like, the next fourteen days. He's, he's like a skunk that is like someone who escaped jail. You know what I mean? Where like he's kind of like I'm out, I'm out of glands. I gotta lay low for fourteen <laughs> weeks. I got. Oh, and is I it meant fourteen weeks or fourteen days. Fourteen days. Sorry. And yeah. th- did you say I meant to add, man? Did you see in the news the guy escaped from a jail in Pennsylvania? Uh, no. It's all over the news. Yeah, and that's like very close to my home. So the cops had been coming out and on, on our news saying, "Stay in your homes with the doors locked at night." If you see someone walking down the street, so me and Jackie were joking, "Let's stay inside. Don't go out there." And then next thing you know, it's uh, one in the morning, and we're still outside scrubbing the dog on the driveway. Forget the killer, because we're dealing with that. So. Yeah, and he's still on the lamb. He tied sheets together. To, to what? Went out the window? And went out the prison window to the awning, jumped off the awning. They think he's in the Allegheny Woods, which is like, you know, not too far from my home. And he's a survivalist who can survive off of berries and shit. So, okay. Yeah. Here's my take on this. Anytime two people or one person escape from a prison, there's a, there's a, a bulletin that goes out and it says, stay in your house. There's two that does that on the loose, right? Right. My question is, there's killers out already, like, <laughs> right? But they, they just haven't been caught yet and put to prison. <clears throat> so why all of a sudden two people escape? I gotta yeah. stay in the house, right? Yet the guy down the street right, right, right. killed two people already. <laughs> no one caught him yet, right? And why, when someone escapes, our first the thought is that they escaped. Goes, I can't wait to go kill people. Oh, I can't wait to go murder, 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 murder. Like maybe they're getting a pizza, looking for an ex girlfriend to fool around. Yeah. With. Why do we just assume they want to run up and down the know. street stabbing they, everybody? They got plenty of people in prison to kill. They got to go outside to go kill them. Um, oh god. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why that is. Oh. Um, so yeah, with, but but getting back to the skunk, um, you know, uh, it's like. I find it fascinating. I don't think it hit the full force. I think it hit my dog with like one or two, and I think it had plenty more because my dog was like immediately I heard, and it was running. And I just want to close out with this saying, I don't know if you've had one hit the home or anything yet, but my wife was telling a friend what happened, and she goes, her grandmother lives down the block from us. She goes, I was driving home from the Coughlin's uh, past your house at 12, 12, 15 at night, and I had the windows down, and I distinctly remembered smelling skunk to the point where I was going to tell you the next day I think you had one. That's how strong it is. This happened in my backyard. Wow. A woman drives by in the front yard. And it's powerful. These things are powerful. Yeah, no, I haven't been my skunk My question yet. is, do you think a dog would, would my dog would charge that skunk again or is it smart enough to go? Because the next day I walk the dog on at the college campus and there's squirrels everywhere. My dog usually like salivates. I let it off the leash and it's running yeah. after squirrels. It was just looking around. It kind of looked at me like, I ain't fucking chasing anything <laughs> ever again. No, I think, he's, I think he definitely you. spooked. He's not going to be screwing around are a skunk again. Are you going to get a dog? Yeah, we're going to get one. You are? Yeah, yeah. When? This I don't is know. exciting. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to get one out. Now at the yards, we've got a patch of grass that they could run around in. We're going to get a dog. And uh, yeah, there are skunks in the neighborhood, though. There are two, two of them were, were mean mugging me. This is about a year ago in my own driveway. I came out six thirty to get the car started, and they're fucking hanging out. Looking at me. What are you doing? Right. You know, they, yeah. They. Uh, if you got that type of power, I think I think you you just are cocky, that, right? Uh, well, it could be a Friday. They know you're having a family barbecue on Saturday. I could I could let out one gland and ruin your whole party. <laughs> just boop. Yes. Gotta cancel the whole thing. Or take it indoors. <laughs> What are you going to do? Oh, God. Two glands? You ain't having people over for three months if I let two glands out. Forget it. Oh, God. I know we were going to talk about skunks, but on a... On a oh, bro. oh, see? That's what I'm shit, talking man. about, bro. <sighs> okay, listen. I'm going to save this for the next cast. I have a video of us catching a skunk in the yard. And the guy came to remove it. And I didn't know how he was going to do it without getting shot with a gland. It was in a cage, and he had to remove it from behind. It was like a, it was like a, a symphony how he got rid of this thing. They, to not scare it. Is that the case? Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. I mean, he had to remove it in a cage. I got the video. I got to look for it. But uh, yeah, uh, frightening stuff, these skunks. Um, Did I ever tell you, okay, my father in law? I don't know if I told you this one. We're not live, live, right? Okay. Just in case this is an edit. You know, he's basically on a farm situation and he gets skunks and he always, whenever he tries to, once they're in the cage and you got to get rid of them or kill them, if, even if you shoot a skunk, it's mm-hmm. going to shoot off the gland and oh, wow. it's going to smell up your whole yard. Right. So one time he caught a skunk in the backyard and skunks do not like heat. Okay. And it came out of its burrow. He knew right where it would come out. When it came out, it went right into the cage and the sun was hitting the skunk and he's like, it was so hot that day. I'm thinking maybe I'll just. So he let the whole day go by. End of the day, the skunk had like died in the heat. <laughs> and he goes, and it didn't let out the, the thing. So there's another way, unless, you know, if you, you don't want to do the whole back method, you guys, you, you could, could burn them. You could let it burn in the sun. Put it, put the cage in direct heat <laughs> <laughs> and go about your day. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. That's the Pete and Sebastian show. We have wrapped up another episode here. Catch us over on Patreon at Pete and Sebastian uh, on the Patreon platform. Five bucks a month. Um, good having Pete That's here. Uh, I think I don't know how we're releasing these episodes after this, but there are guests, people, guests to come here on the Pete and Sebastian show. One have might already aired. We don't know. We don't know the schedule. We just sit in blue chairs yes. and talk about skunks all day. That's it for everybody here at the Pete and Sebastian show. Take care.